All right, guys, it's time to reassemble the gearboxes. So uh, I got a whole bunch of parts that came in. This is the reverse selector fork. That's the part number if anybody wants it. Um, I've got a few GK Tech bits and pieces. This is for the shifter, it's the shifter bush. Um, pivot ball, we're looking at changing the pivot ball. This is a retainer clip for the thrust bearing. Another retainer clip for the clutch fork. These are the seals. This is the drive shaft seal, so the back end. And this is the input shaft seal. So there's the model number for that. Also, we have a shifter gasket and we have the front cover gasket for the gearbox, which sits on this. Uh, I cleaned it up, took the seals out, um, ready to go. I'm going to do the gearbox that's gonna go in my car first, and then I'm gonna do, put this one back together, which is my older gearbox. That one's gonna be good, because we've gotta put the reverse selector on, and then put it all back together with all the shafts and stuff. So I went ahead and cleaned the, the one that's going in my car. I cleaned the bell housing, just hit it with the greaser, hit it with a wire brush, gurney. As you can see, it's all nice and clean. I hit the top of it with a bit of scotch bright just to flatten the surfaces and get any you know gunk off it and anything like that, so it's good for the gasket sealer. I did the same here, so all that's done as well on both sides. So now it's time to put it together. Let's go. Guys, I've got to give you a quick tip. When you're putting the rear housing back on, you need to fit this, which is the shifter. So it goes on like this, and it, that's how you change the gears, right? Now you need to fit this as you're putting the bell housing on. Like you get the bell housing on, you slide it down, and then you fit it over the shaft, and then completely seal the gearbox, like completely close it. If you don't do that, you're gonna have to do what I did and pull apart the rear bell housing again so you can get this back in. I'll show you what I mean now, but just keep that in mind for future. Word of advice, once you put the striking pin in for the shifter, don't sit there and try and shift it into gear um, because I did and I was back and forth and I got stuck and it slipped. Cut a long story short, I had to pull the gearbox apart again. 
I was burning so hard. I've done it and here it is, it's all completed. Now I've just got to put this top plate in here to seal it and um, we'll continue on. All right, here we have the front plate that sits over the front of the shaft and uh, we're going to put the new gasket on and there's a shim here that needs to go on. So the shim goes in there. I'm not 100% sure if we're meant to have any gasket glue around it. Um, I don't think so. It may be a good idea to put some, but I'll see how it looks because it looks, well, when I open this gasket, it looks like there's some sort of a sealer around it. So we'll see what happens now. So the plate's on. I ended up putting a little bit of gasket glue around as well, just in case, because I don't want to have to pull the gearbox out again to fix the leak here. So that's on. I've just hand tightened the bolts right now until the gasket glue sort of sets for a little bit. And in about half an hour's time, I'll then torque them down. What we're going to do now is we're going to clean like, you know, the throw out bearing, the clutch fork, and we have to assemble the shifter. We'll clean the rest of the parts and we'll just keep going. We'll keep assembling. I oh, know this is exciting. This is the first time I've ever opened and sort of rebuilt a gearbox. I hope I'm doing the right thing here. Paw. All right, guys, they're all done. The throw out bearings clean. Um, all these parts need greasing. Um, the two new retainer clips, the clutch fork. We've got to put a bit of grease on here. We've got to put a bit of grease on the pivot ball. Grease inside the throw out bearing. Put a bit of grease back here. Grease here where the retaining clips are. And that's about it. The sides here, there are springs, washers, side screws. They go in here, but before you put that, you have to put these. So these go in, they slip in like this. One, this one has a notch in it, and there's a reason for that, is because there's a ball that goes down this hole. So that goes in like that. And if you can see, which you probably can't, in there fits a ball bearing, which is this little ball bearing, goes in there. Spring goes on top. We can now then slip in the springs and then we can fit these. Now, before I do that, I'm going to put a bit of gasket glue around the edge here because I noticed that's what they had done previously. So um, I'm going to do that just to give it some extra seal when it screws in because you don't want anything leaking. So gasket glue everything. <laughs> the gearbox is assembled. Covers on. All the sensors are in. The only thing I need to do is put in the speed sensor, which I will do that after I put it back in the car. Clutch fork is on, throw out bearings on. Everything works nice. The only thing I've got to do now is put in the final seal, which sits at the back here. So I'm going to put the gearbox back on the floor and smack this in. Let's go. 